Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be discussing relics and why I think it's bad for the game in its current state so let's get straight into it so I just want to say I'm part of the kabam creator program so my aim is to make videos and to give feedback on different stuff coming into the game to give towards kabam so they can make changes that's my aim so we're just gonna get straight into it so relics they came out last night yesterday if you've seen this video as it drops and my overall thoughts on relics is it's a cool feature coming into the game where basically you can upgrade your guardians you can make them stronger they have more health and attack and different bits of utility but there is a big issue with it currently and that's how to get them and the, the difference between end game players spenders and also like free to play players now currently in mirrorverse there is a big issue where players that spend money they just progress so much further than those who don't and the introduction to relics just increases that gap between those types of players now myself i spend but I don't spend a lot. I hardly spend. Now a profile like somebody in the top alliance compared to me, I'm so far away from them. As well as like other creators within the content creator program, I'm far away from them as well because I don't spend, I don't play too much. And you can just see here, this is my profile currently. It's not even that great. And you can see the relics you have here. Now there's different types of relics you can get. You can get like legendary, epic ones. Those are like the top ones that really boost your stats, boost your guardians, like health, attack, all these different types of stats that get boosted when you apply these relics now how do you get these relics now one thing that's good is that you can get these relics in dungeons the bad thing is you're not guaranteed to get like the legendary and epic ones like the big relics that make a huge difference towards your guardians you can only get like common uncommon ones like common relic boxes these are not really that important these you're just going to apply to your guardians, if not you're just going to sell them for more ore so you can upgrade your better relics. Now there is a huge issue with like trying to get these big relics, you can get these common ones. Now this is where all the good stuff is in these refined relic crystals and you have like a chance to get epic and legendary relics. Now what's the issue with this? The drop rates are terrible, you're not guaranteed to get a good relic at all and whereas people who spend they're just going to be spamming open all of these crystals and just getting the best relics and it's just going to make them progress so much further than those who don't spend now the rewards here if we go over to the event rewards and rank rewards the top players are going to get like epic relic boxes so they're going to get epic relics and these are all the spenders in the dungeons events who just buy orbs buy energy and just get the top ranks they're going to get these crystals as well as guaranteed epic relics whereas everyone else I, i'm just going to say people who are like rank 4 to 10 onwards all the way down to like the top 10 top 20 percent they're not getting a single relic from the rank rewards all they're going to be getting are four of these polished relic crystals that have a decent chance of getting some good relics but not a guaranteed chance they're going to get four of these and just a few of these chit ones which are not really that good to be honest so that's one big issue of relics if you're a free to play player this is legit the only way to get these relics the dungeons event and you're not guaranteed to get anything good now where does it go all wrong and that is right here if we go over to the store and we go over to offers you can see these different offers that are now in the game where if you spend like 18 pounds which is like 22 dollars or whatever you can get these rarefied relic crystals which have a about an eight percent chance to get like one of the best relics in the game you get 10 of these so and then obviously you've got different types of relics here there's about 30 crystals here and you've got to spend money to get this now this is a huge issue because there's so many offers you can claim and if you're free to play you're not going to be able to get these. You're going to be stuck in dungeons where you have like a 1% chance out of 4 crystals every week to get maybe, I don't know, a rare relic that ain't even that good. So it is a big issue currently, like how to get these. It's only been out for a day, but players are already struggling to keep up. And now this being out, it's just going to divide the player base even more than it already is. And I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. It's not a good time to add them and you can see here i actually do have an epic melee ring now how i got this i got lucky i got lucky i didn't buy anything i just opened one of these from the dungeons and i got an epic one now most players are not even going to get this and they're just going to get terrible luck now with me i'm glad i got this but at the same time i'm probably not going to get another epic relic for like 
weeks, maybe even months. It's already like the top players that already have the gold, the legendary relics applied to their guardians. And their guardians power level, health and attack is just so much ahead because of these relics. So it's kind of like, I'm not really happy with it. So I'm just like, yeah, it's not really good. It's not really good for the game at the moment. We got Rift Raids coming out soon. And just the availability for these relics, you know, Rift Raids, there is a big issue that people think that there will be an issue where all the top players will be in like the top division. They'll be going for the best rewards and having these relics applied to them. They're just going to spend so much money, get the best relics, and they're just going to be ahead of so many other players because they have the better guardians, they have the better relics applied to them, they have the legendary ones, and they're just going to be ahead of every other player within Disney Mirrorverse. So, overall, I'm not happy with relics. I feel like they need to increase the odds of getting them, maybe through the crystals that are actually in the feature crystal store. You can see you can just buy these for like 90 or like 60 orbs. Whales are just going to spend all their orbs. They're just going to keep buying, keep getting these relics and just be ahead of everyone else within the game. So I'm not happy with this change. I feel like it's not the right time to add these into the game. Especially with Rift Raids coming out very soon. It's just going to divide the player base even more. So let me know what you think down below. Are you happy with relics within Disney Mirrorverse? So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.